Hello YouTube, this is Cold by Forever. This time bringing you the auto mule setup and how to do exactly that. The auto mule, in case you are unfamiliar, is basically a script inside of Coldbot that will automatically start up, create an account, create a character, log in, create a game, pick up items from an already existing and working bot, and then it will take these items, it will log it, it will also log the account name and the items that that particular character picked up so that you don't have to. So this helps you prevent transferring and it also is really nice to keep a nice inventory list of what it is that you have and where you have those items for future use for trading or selling on D2JSP or whatever it is that you may be wanting to do. Before I get started, there's a couple things I want to mention. You're going to need two full CD key sets. So one CD key set for your working bot and a second CD key set for your mule profile. The last thing I want to say is that you should have already had a working bot that is ready to go and is fully functional and if you don't please watch my previous videos and they will explain how to do all of this so that you can get to this point and set all this stuff up. Without further ado let's get started. I'm actually going to do the opposite of what they're doing here on this github page. Link in the description to this if you'd like to follow along or have a text version. I'm going to start with the profiles and we're going to work from there. So here are my profiles and for this particular setup you're only going to need two. So just ignore these other ones that you see on here. The first one as you can see is my bot profile. It's actually running right now. Yours does not need to be running. In fact I would make sure that it isn't running while you do this. And then the second one, if you don't already have one, we're going to need to create one. Or if you already have one, we can just go ahead and edit it. So go ahead and open this up. And the only thing that's really going to matter on this left-hand side is the profile name, which you can name whatever you want. Keep it short, keep it simple. And then our realm and our mode. Everything else you can leave blank. Parameters, we need to... You could basically just leave this as it is. I mean, you can see here I've got a few things here, but honestly, you don't need a lot of this stuff. You could just do whatever you wish there. Game path, make sure that's correct. Entry script, we're going to choose d2botmule.dbj, and the key list, we are going to select our second key, D oh my gosh, I can't speak, CD key set that is different from our original one for our bot. This is for obvious reasons, we can't log into the same CD key set at the exact same time because it wouldn't allow us. It does the check, it would fail, it wouldn't let you log in, it wouldn't work. So keep that in mind. Uh, I have previous videos to show you how to add new CD key sets to Colbot in case you've forgotten or in case you need to know. Then hit apply and hit OK and then we are done with the profile area. The next thing we need to do is come inside of our Colbot folder and let me pull that up real quick here. We're going to go inside Colbot, D2BS, Colbot, and then finally into libs. And we're going to find this file right here. Mine says auto mule. Yours might say auto mule.js if you have extensions turned on. Either way, it's the exact same thing. Go ahead and open that up and edit it with Notepad or Sublime Text or just plain old Notepad, whichever you wish. I'll leave that up to you. You're going to see some things that we need to configure here. So, as you can see, I've already done this as an example, and yours should look similar to mine, but yours will be replaced with your actual info. So the first thing we need to edit is the mule profile. So the mule profile is the second profile that we had set up. Let me bring that back real quick just to show you guys what I'm talking about. That is the dark profile right here that I made from earlier, which is why I named it dark here. And you can see that I did make sure that it's case sensitive, even if it was an issue. I'm not sure if it is. They don't actually say if case sensitivity is an issue, but don't even bother. Just make sure that it's perfectly the same from the profiles on your Colbot to here. Make sure it's exactly the same. Account prefix, this is going to be the name for your accounts and then it will add numbers to those accounts as it makes new accounts to log into and create characters to add those items to. Again, this can be anything but I would make sure that this is short and sweet. Don't, don't put a lot of stuff on here. There's really no reason to. It's just a mule account. Account password, same thing. Keep it short and sweet. I would recommend eight or less characters on your passwords for Colbot because it does have a little bit of an issue with super long passwords as we've experienced in the past. Character prefix is kind of like your account prefix only for your character names 
And so, again, I just use dark as an example. You can use whatever you want, but once again, keep it short, keep it sweet. The realm needs to be listed here in lowercase, as you can see here, here are your options. Expansion needs to be set to true, ladder if it is, make sure you put true, if not, put false, and hardcore, false or true. This is all pretty self-explanatory. I think you guys pretty much understand how this works by now, if you've been doing this for a while with the character configurations and everything else. And then we need to go down to characters per account. That's what that stands for. You can put anything from one to 18 here. So you can have one character per account for your mules, or you can have 18 per account. Some people like it that way. It doesn't really matter. I will leave that entirely up to you. Next up, we have the game name and password of the mule game. So just put in a game name and put in a password for the mule to make when it creates a game. So this is not gonna be the game names for your bot. This is gonna be the game names and passwords for the mule when it goes in to collect all the items and to log it. And then last but not least, we have the list of profiles that will mule items. So this is the bot profile. This is the profile of the bot that is actually going through and killing everything and collecting all the items that you want to give to the actual mule. So that would be, for me, that would be this particular profile right here. And as you can see, they are exactly the same. And then after that is done, you're gonna go ahead and go up there and make sure you save it. And that's it, you can then close it out and you don't have to worry about it. And that's literally all you have to do. You just run the bot normally. And as you can see here, I'm not even running this profile because I don't need to. The bot will actually trigger it to be started when it needs it. So you don't need to do anything else. If everything is working correctly, it will automatically log in and it will automatically do everything that you need to do in order to find everything. On your profile, one last thing before I let you guys go, if you go to Care Viewer, it will actually show you which characters have the items and which accounts those characters are on so that you can actually keep a list and an inventory of all the different items that have been found and where they're located. I hope you guys have a good one. Like and subscribe as usual. We'll see you next time.